Hello, my name is Monika and I'm a member of the Biognosis Support Team. Today I will show you how to set up a targeted analysis using SpectroDive, Biognosis software solution for targeted proteomics, including PRM, MRM, and SureQuant workflows. In the library perspective, you can first generate a spectral library using discovery like runs. SpectroDive comes with Pulsar, our database search engine that can create a library from DDA or DIA data. Subsequently, such libraries can be used for the selection of targets and panel generation for the targeted assay. You can generate or import target panels in the prepare perspective. These panels will be then visible in the tree on the left side. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to set up a PRM analysis for samples spiked with PQ500 reference peptides. PQ500 is Biognosis Reference Peptide Kit designed for the absolute quantification of more than 500 proteins in human plasma or serum samples. A ready-to-use PQ500 PRM panel is a part of the kit. Using the option Generate Modified Panel, you can manually select only a subset of proteins and peptides of the interest, as well as define the best fragmentation ions for them. Similar options are available while generating the panel from a library. In the next step, you will generate an analysis method to set up an acquisition method on the MS instrument. First, you need to select your panel. Then you need to choose a calibration run to set up a scheduled acquisition of the targets. Thanks to scheduling, the number of targets in one panel can be increased without compromising high accuracy of their quantification. SpectroDive gives you three options for creating a calibration run. You can use an unscheduled run or, second option, a scheduled run with a broader time window. Or the third option, our novel workflow that lets you import a calibration directly from a library that was generated using the same chromatographic setup as used for acquiring the target runs. Finally, in the export method window, you can specify scheduling and instrument-specific settings. On the right side, you can see the concurrent transitions plot. This plot gives you an overview of the scheduling of your panel, also showing the highest number of concurrent transitions for MRM or precursors for PRM, given your other settings. SpectroDive will save your method as an instrument acquisition software-ready transition list. Once the PRM runs are acquired, you can continue with the analysis in the analysis perspective. When you select the workflow, set up targeted analysis from file, a wizard will open, and it will guide you through all analysis settings. Start with selecting your PRM runs. Secondly, choose your assay panel. In the next step, you can customize analysis settings. BGS factory settings are SpectroDive default settings applicable to most PRM experiments. In the last step, you can define the experimental conditions for differential abundance testing. Click Finish to start your analysis. Once the analysis is finished, SpectroDive gives you several powerful and easily accessible visualizations for browsing your data. For example, for the elution group, you can visualize MS2 XIC where XIC signals for all transitions for both targeted and reference peptides are aligned and presented alongside. On the lower panel, you can see MS2 intensity alignment plot that gives detailed information about the signal stability across several runs and helps to identify inconsistent ones. SpectroDive applies a powerful machine learning peak picking algorithm and FDR-based identification, so manual curation is not necessary. However, you can inspect and fine tune your data here if you would like to. In the post analysis perspective, you can find, among other information, a list of differentially regulated proteins between experimental conditions. Information about ratio between target and reference peptides is available in detailed report. When using our PQ500 kit, SpectroDive will also report the absolute amount of endogenous peptide on the analytical column. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And to learn more about other workflows available in Biognosis Software Suite, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.